hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video what we are going to see is about zk sync uh, many of you know the airdrop is gonna come soon in the future but recently they announced that will there be any token I, they said like it will be in the future the reason is because it is right now centralized okay when it turns into decentralized by the time it happens if the community wants they will make a token okay so in order that to happen we have i guess one year okay it's too early only for zk zinc we just have to participate so in this video i'm gonna show you how to participate in this uh, zk zinc airdrop in case if they provide any airdrop in the future okay so there is a chance for getting airdrop this one and it will be surely high if, if they are providing any airdrop okay so we we gonna use their mainnet and uh, do the bridgings okay with uh, these platforms and uh, we gonna do some swaps also using their platform doing so we are increasing our transaction if we do increase our transaction so the more number of transaction means like we might get more number of uh, tokens from the airdrop okay so that's why we're going to increase as of now these are the uh, platforms okay we're going to use the mainnet okay zk zinc era so before we start our video this is the first time listening to my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel and support me by watching all the videos by clicking that like button by sharing it with your friends if you can't share it with your friends make sure to like this video and continue watching it guys by clicking that like button means a lot to me come on guys without any further order let's get into the video so first of all uh, you all know what is zk sync uh, previously zk light is there okay so like light is nothing but zk v1 now they changed into zk light zk zinc light and uh, now this the zk zinc 2.0 is coming that is that is called zk zinc era zk zinc 2.0 we're going to use their bridge and then we're going to be eligible for the future airdrop in case if they provide any airdrop the worth will be surely high guys you can get a thousand dollar to five thousand dollar okay so in case if they provide any airdrop so we're going to see how to participate in this one for that first thing we're going to do is we're going to use their bridge okay so just click on the bridge I'll leave all these links inside my telegram channel you can find all the links inside my telegram channel okay so once you come inside here you can see just click on this connect metamask and connect our metamask with this uh, ZK Zinkera so once your metamask got connected you'll be able to see your balance and all here okay so before you do it guys uh, fund some balance in your metamask and after that do the transaction so now here you can see I have some ethereum in my mainnet ETH mainnet and now we're going to convert this uh, from from ethereum mainnet to zk zinc era mainnet okay so i'm gonna type 0 0.3.0 uh, okay so i'm just gonna click deposit to do the metamask transaction now here you can see the gas fee is little higher uh, 3.59 dollar okay so that's what we're going to spend and i'm gonna uh, deposit to 535 dollar i'm just gonna click confirm so guys you don't have to do with this higher amount also if even if you have like uh, 0 0.1 ethereum or 0 0.01 ethereum also you can try okay so we just need to increase the number of transaction so now here you can see the transaction got submitted and uh, just click on back so after we do the deposit and here you can see our balance has been seen here okay so in withdraw also if you go you'll be able to see your balance here so now we have to add the zk zinc era mainnet so in order to do that just click on withdraw button okay so just type some amount and click on withdraw so now here you can see the network is shown here just click on approve and click on switch network so now we rejected the transaction and here you can see my balance has been seen here okay so inside uh, zk zinc era mainnet now we can see that and uh, once it's done now just uh, uh, go back to this uh, orbiter and uh, here also we're going to do our bridge okay so the thing is even orbiter doesn't have any token in the future if they are providing any airdrop no you will be eligible for that airdrop too so that's the main thing and apart from that comparatively from uh, zk zinc era and orbiter it has a lower gas fee also okay so just click on this l2 bridge and we're going to bridge some eth from ethereum okay so i'm just gonna type 0 0.1 okay so 0 0.1 eth from here to here and if i'm clicking send just switch the network from zk zinc era to mainnet obviously okay because from ethereum mainnet to zk zinc era no so that's why 
So once your metamask got connected, then just click confirm and send. Once you do that, here you can see the fee. Okay, in uh, in Orbiter, it has a lower fee comparatively from the main net. Okay, so just click confirm. Here it's just 55 cent, and there it was three dollar. Okay, so but at least do one transaction from uh, zk era main net. Okay, and after that do uh, many transaction from Orbiter or other exchanges platform. Okay, here you can see from Ethereum to it's going to zk zinc era. Got completed. Uh, we transferred from Ethereum to zk zinc era main net, and uh, after you do this, guys, the next step is the same bridging only using this platform, and here zero fee for uh, 48 hours. Okay? Okay, so if you do bridging from here, it's zero fee for 48 hours. The thing only one problem you're going to face is it will take lot of time, guys, to transfer your Ethereum from there to here, like more than hour it will take. So make sure to try this one also. It's nothing but same. Like you have to connect your wallet through MetaMask. Just click on that, and your wallet will get connected. Once your wallet got connected, it will automatically pop up. Just click on Bridge. So after it comes inside, what you have to do is you have to do this authentication your wallet. Okay, that's nothing but you have to do the signature. So once you do that, and here you will be able to see your balance, and from Ethereum to we are going to deposit into zk zinc. Okay, so guys, it's totally up to you to try this one because it is very uh, slow. A lot of bug is there, so it's totally up to you to try. So I'm just moving on to the next one. And the next one is connect your wallet. Uh, for this one, we need a main net. Okay, so connect Ethereum wallet. Just click on that, and then we have to uh, do the signature. Okay, so just do the sign. And then uh, connect this wallet, okay? And our wallet will get connected here. And that's it, guys. Once your wallet got connected, what you have to do is we have to uh, buy some USDT, okay? So we're going to swap, okay? Do one swap or two swap. I'm going to, so I'm going to swap the small portion of my capital. Just click on this USDC, and then the MetaMask transaction will open. So now here you can see the estimated gas fee is showing one dollar, okay? But if you just click confirm, no, so they won't take one dollar. They will take only twenty five cent because they are actually uh, giving back our uh, refunding the gas fee, okay? So seventy two percent they are refunding the gas fee. So for that reason alone, just now I did two transaction, okay? I don't know where to see the history. So here you can see just now I did the swap, okay? So the same thing I just uh, after that you need to unlock the USDC and then again swap it back, okay? So that's what I did from here. But the thing is, gas fee is here just 25 cent only. They might show it's one dollar, but they will refund the amount. Okay, so that's the thing. If you want to uh, make more transaction, you can do more transaction here by doing lot of trade, like swapping from here to there and that to here. So the thing is here, their gas fee is very low. They are refunding the gas fee, so that's the main thing. Okay, so the next thing. Okay, so here this is uh, another uh, swap only, sway swap. So here only we're going to do the swap now. So type the amount how much you wanna do. So I'm going to click swap and then just click confirm swap and then we have to do the metamask transaction. Okay. So once you do the metamask transaction, then now uh, from here to there it will be swapping. Okay, 0.05 ETH will be swapped from here to there. But here also gas fee is uh, one dollar. Okay, so just click confirm. 53 USDC and we received it successfully in our wallet. Okay, so and then do it again, vice versa, from that to again, uh, send it from that to here. So now you can see again I swapped it back to my Ethereum. So that's it, guys. This process and the next thing is a mute switch. Okay, so here also you need to do the same thing only. We just need to connect our wallet. Just click MetaMask and connect your wallet. So just click next now and click connect. It will be getting connected, okay? So once it got connected, here you can see is the casing network got connected. The same thing, okay? Just uh, click maximum first, select the token Ethereum and uh, select the USDC and type the amount 0.03, somewhat like that, 53 dollar. We are going to convert from ETH to uh, USDC, okay? So if you do, just click on the swap and then the swap confirmation will come. We have to do the confirmation in our wallet, and here also see guys. Make sure to uh, notice this 1.66 dollar we're going to spend here. So spending this uh, gas amount really means a lot because in case if you are eligible for the airdrop in the future when they are providing the token, just imagine how much amount you're going to get. Okay, so spending like you know, um, I, I guess maximum all around it will cost around 15 to 20 dollar only. So for trying out all this platform, so just select confirm. 
and that's it guys uh, we have received 52 usdc okay the next platform is uh, mint square okay so here we're going to mint an nft so just come inside just connect your wallet and click on this and connect wallet okay your wallet will get connected here so once your wallet got connected here uh, what you need to do is just go to mint square and uh, here you can see mint no just click on the mint and drag and drop any of the pick So once you click mint here you can see upload successful then we have to do the metamask transaction okay so once you do the metamask transaction it's done so here we are spending around 1.15 dollar okay as a gas fee so just click confirm so once you click confirm it's done okay so nft successfully minted so now just click on go to profile and this is our profile and here you can see our nft okay so we successfully minted our nft here so that's it guys that's it guys uh, pretty much we have uh, tried out uh, six to seven dApps i guess okay so one dApp we didn't try, try the try no you can also try but it will take longer time okay so for in order to complete this video i skipped that one so you don't want to miss out that also just make sure to do that also it just take longer time for doing the bridging okay so that's it guys in this video just try this zk zinkara maybe in the future if they are providing airdrop surely you will be eligible for this one okay so if you don't if you want to increase your uh, chances of getting the airdrop what you can do is you can go to this zk zinc light and then do one uh, bridging okay from zk zinc uh, from ethereum miner to zk zinc light and then mint an nft there also okay that will increase your airdrop chance for early adopter so that's it guys pretty much we uh, did everything okay so these are the things you gotta do in order to eligible for the adopt in the future if they provide okay so that's it guys in this video thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you all like this video make sure to hit the like button thank you guys thank you for watching it